everyone, my name is Kelly McElligott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial video on how to merge records in Koha. Within your Koha system, you have the opportunity to take a BIP record and merge it with another BIP record. Sometimes we need to do that if we realize we have um, the same record in our catalog twice with items attached to it. So instead of having multiple bib records for the same item, we can go ahead and merge those within Koha. So I'm going to show you um, what I mean by multiple bibs. I'm going to take, go ahead and show, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, this ISBN number. When I scan this ISBN number, I realize that I have three bib records for this book, Wonder. I do have items attached to all of these bib records, but wouldn't it be great for a patron or a staff person to just find one bib record and to see where all those copies are? So we're going to go ahead and merge this into one, one record versus three. To do that, we're going to go up to that more drop down and use our cataloging module. From here, I'm going to do that same cataloging search. So this is actually searching the catalog um, a different way. It's going to show you a different kind of viewpoint if you've never used the cataloging search in the Koha module. So I can see that I do have three results in the catalog. Um, I can see the title and the location. At this point, I can go ahead and choose which um, records I would like to merge. So I have this little checkbox mark and I'm going to mark those three because I'm going to take all three of those records and make one record. And I'm going to go up to the top here and use that Merge Selected button. Once I hit Merge Selected, it's going to give me an option of which mark record would I like to be as the reference point of the merge. Now I'm going to have that opportunity to pick and choose any of the fields in the other mark records to bring over to my final bib record, but it just wants to know where to start from. It also wants to tell me, um, ask me which framework I want to use. So here I have, um, I chose this 117428. So what Koha has done is break, broken down all the mark fields and brought them over to this destination record. The destination record is what is going to be seen when we're done with this merging process. Now, what I can do is I can look at the other records and see how they compare to this reference record. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that 117426 and just go ahead and look and it shows me side by side. One thing I can see is that in this record, um, the publication is in the 264. So I'm actually going to choose the 264 and, and that pops over here. I'm also going to make sure that my bib record is RDA compliant. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that 336, 337, 338. If there were any other mark fields that I wanted to include, oh, I see that I have a Lexile and I have my accelerating reading, which is really important for um, patrons and staff to find these items. And I can go ahead and add those. I can do that with all the records. If I find wanted to look at the, the last record, I could go ahead and see anything else that I might have not um, included that I really wanted to make sure was on that final bib record. The last step I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and get rid of that 260 field because the 264 tells me my publication. So I'm going to go up to my first record, which was the 117428, and I'm going to unclick my 260. So you can see it was removed from the destination record and now I am left with my 264. Once I'm satisfied with all with the destination mark record that is listed here, I can go ahead and choose merge. Once I merge, I can see the um, that my merge was successful and I'm going to go ahead and see my merged record in its final stages. So here I could go to it and look at all these mark records, mark fields, make sure but I'd always like to look at it in that normal view. Once I go to the normal view, I can actually see the final bib record that I have brought over, as well as all the holdings that are, are on this 
So I did not lose any item holding information. I just made sure that I only had one record in the system for the book Wonder. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of BuyWaterSolutions.com. Have a great day.